Well, welcome back everybody. And today we are going to talk about shoe lock shoes. Um, this is a pair that I really hope that a lot of people are going to adopt. If you don't already have a pair, my request is that you get a pair and you pop those in your cupboard and you wear them every day. Have them with you whenever possible because I think that this is probably one of the biggest concerns I've got is just how conditioned we are by what we're watching, social media, the impact of social media on not just our young ones but ourselves. You know, we're just constantly bombarded by people and their messages of what's right for us, you know, and we've kind of lost touch with that world of, you know, that connection to our inner selves, to our higher source and, and going and checking in with actually is, is that what I want? Is that the be actually, is that the best thing for me? You know, it's like, and, and if we, we got a question, you know, and, and this is the thing is that I'm finding that we're so, you know, bombarded with this constant messaging that eventually we get hypnotized uh, effectively is what's happening into believing that that's actually what we actually want. And I would like to have it where we go, we question that, and then we make an educated, researched <laughs> um, decision on whether that actually is something that is good for us and our families or our businesses or whatever the case may be so um i'll, I'll just give you like, let's see i mean like uh, let's give you an example of something of how this 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 could pan out in the real world so that you've got some sort of idea um for example and i'm, I'm not bagging coca-cola or pepsi per se i mean like they're great marketers that's what they do you know so it's all about marketing um but really you know if you like when you think of a beverage what's the first thing that you think of you know and i've asked this in rooms and i've seen this being asked in other rooms as well with you know uh speakers and it's like especially when they're talking about brand development and they go you got to build your brand and when you think of a brand what do you think of and you go well coke okay coca cola for beverages okay right so i'll give you another example um you know, when you think of um, the big, the uh, of the top laptop or desktop or you know computer company, what do you think of? And people will say, well, Apple. Um, you know, or you know, um, if they say, well, when you think of the biggest software uh, development businesses, which ones are? Oh, it'll be Microsoft. When you say, um, you know, a top name like uh, for say tissues. Um, what's the first name that comes to mind? And a lot of people will say Kleenex, you know? So we're so conditioned by the repetitive advertising and marketing that we're constantly bombarded with. I mean, in the old days, it was just a case of, um, you know, it was, I say just a case of, it was newspaper ads and TV. If you go back like to the 50s, you know, if you got into people's living rooms, <laughs> they, you pretty much had them. And, you know, people would pay big money for that advertising space because, you know, the whole family's there. You've got their full attention. They are in going into alpha state because they're winding down from their busyness of their day. So they're starting to relax, which is when you're more susceptible to information coming into you and um, and less likely to question because, you know, if it's up there and everybody's in agreement that, oh, that's what's happening, then that must be true. So there's a number of variables that kick into play that subconsciously on a subconscious level we don't even think about and never questioned. And we've never had our Sherlock shoes on. But now it's even more so. Now we've got, we're in every, as long as you're in every, on every device, we've got every device, it's uh, Facebook and within the device we've got Facebook, uh, we're bombarded with uh, ads there, with all the social media, Instagram, YouTube, uh, you name it, you know. Now, some of the advertising is positive, you know, and is in your best interest. Um, but then there's sometimes it's not. And the classic would be, okay, dare I say, I mean, like Coke have done a really great job and it was all about building brand and the reason that people think about it. I mean, I think about even in Africa, you can go into villages now even and 
they they have coca-cola on the walls of the kraals k-r-a-a-l-s you know the little huts that they have um because they're sponsored and they're out in the wop wops i mean they really are like you're like seriously you know you've got all these mud huts and now suddenly you've got a coca-cola sign that's how far they have reached you know their reach has been so phenomenal even after even after all the years of all the research that has shown that you know the the amount of sugar that they put in there is insane the amount of caffeine that, that's in there is insane you know um that at one you know one point i think they even actually well i don't know how true that is but you know they they added it into um into coke um and i don't know if that's true or not i'm not saying that that actually has happened but effectively over the years you know um they linked that those those addictions of caffeine combined with sugar um in a bottle that they then linked with emotion and i, I think of a song like um associated with coke and i remember in the old days it was you know i'm on top of the world looking and it was like they were all standing and it was like thousands of people in a field that and then moving up onto the top of the mountain and it's like i feel good when i drink coke and so they link the emotion to the coke you see loads of people repetitively on the screen the herd the amount of people that are standing there going we all drink coke we support coke these old people these young people these ladies these kids everybody's drinking a coke don't drink water drink coke was actually one of their slogans at one point so um excellent marketing excellent marketing total hypnotherapy you know mass hypnotherapy and this is i really want to challenge this this is one of the things that i constantly and i, I saw it so much over the years and all the way through the pandemic and i was just like oh my goodness how can people not be thinking you know straight they 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 getting these messages all the time and is this actually in you know the the benefit of self or others um so you know it's like um being in a um locked up in your room without having so you know exercise and social contact as an example okay um not ideal <laughs> not not conducive to good happy connected communities <laughs> also not good for physical health so there's no no surprise that people landed up overeating over drinking um you know their addictions really kicked in is effectively what happened they became you know super aholics whether it was workaholics you know the drinking levels have gone up suicides re uh, rates have gone went up significantly and i'm seeing a lot even after now that it's passed i mean it's not completely gone but you know I've, i'm having a lot of people with their wheels falling off more so than during uh COVID because a lot of the support financially that was there isn't there now um a lot of wellness drives that were there just for COVID have now gone um so you know you do you you it's it's this whole thing of like what is working for me what isn't um how you know is it okay to do this and i would seriously encourage you to put on a pair of sherlock shoes like sherlock holmes and investigate i'm not saying just you know we just it it's just that face value taking things at face value and not questioning what's sitting behind it what's the driver behind it like you know um and also i would be going turn off all that stuff like i you know when i go into a supermarket um and you have all that uh, the adverts playing and the messages playing and the whatever it is that's them programming you that's not them i mean the marketers programming you i beg your pardon <laughs> made it sound quite sinister sinister there but it wasn't meant to sound like that i do apologize but it's that whole process of you know it's all the subliminal advertising it's the posters that you see everywhere like i say with like with coca-cola like you drive through um in uh, villages in africa and you like you literally will have gone through a desert and then you hit a a village and there's a coca-cola sign sometimes they nick the signs and make their buildings out of them you know because they're like shanty towns they can't afford to to build their own place and i i just remember this it was like i remember even in south africa the one time i, I went back and there was a big huge shanty town 
and um, it, it was all along the highway from the airport and it was fascinating because it was all the billboards of all the real estate agents and I contacted some of you know them and said hey I, I, I know where your boards are by the way and they said Do you know what we're not taking them down because it's free advertising if we actually take those back we have to pay for the advertising space on the street Whereas if it's in the shanty town and they've built their houses out of it, it's free advertising, it's right on the highway. And I was like, fantastic. So that's the first thing that tourists were seeing. They've got rid of the shanty town now. But um, it just an example of that, you know, all that stuff, just be, start becoming aware of it. Like, you know, it's that, you know, noticing and then questioning, you know, it's like, oh, you know, is Coca-Cola really good for my health? Is it better than water? You know, is the is the power rate a good thing or whatever? You know, like I personally am not into energy drinks at all. I've got no, I've got a thing about drinks in this particular chat, but <laughs> I'm just following a thread to give you an example. But like when I see those bright blues and the bright reds, I'm thinking, what coloring is in there? Like, you know, that's got to dye your stomach. And how good is that for you, your gut health, and which is linked to you, you know high levels of depression, imbalance in gut health and, um, you know, how much sugar is in there. So when we've got our shoe lock shoes on, I would ask you to, like, maybe if that if that's your thing, fine, go do it. You know, it's like everyone, this is, it's not, it's not here to pass judgment. It's purely here to raise awareness. I want, you know, people like, if that's your thing and you decide you're going to do it, commit to it, follow through with it, and it's your shoes, your way, your path. You know, however, if you've chosen a pair of shoes on a path that doesn't work for you and the wheels come off and your shoes fall off because you've now got an ill health, you that was a decision that you made earlier on in your life that you chose not to correct. So you still have to own that. You still have to own that. So, you know, sometimes people go, oh, it's not my fault. You know, it was Powerade or whatever. No, but you didn't have to. You did not have to drink it. You know, this is, so it's the, why are you drinking it? And this is where your shoe lock shoes come in. So it's like, go and investigate, go right. Okay. Is, you know, um, how, how much sugar, you know, is in, for example, the Coca-Cola or the drink, you know, I'm not specifically Coke, you know, whatever it is, you know, is, is this going to help? Even though the advert says it's healthy, it doesn't mean that it is, you know, um, it's wearing the shoe lock shoes and going and doing your research, go use your time online to research to investigate and don't just take anything at face value so i would question as much as you possibly can and not just with advertising it's with everything in life like even with stuff that i teach like i'm like you know i don't want to be that person saying this is the right way and you've got to do it this it's not about that it's like here's different options that have worked for me it's worked for my clients um i know it can work for you um, I'm giving all this information away for free um, because I know that it can create positive shifts in people's lives and it's going to help you. It's going to empower you. Whether you choose to adopt that or not is up to you. Some things will work for you, some will not. Take what works for you, ditch what you don't. Wear the shoes you want, ditch the shoes you don't. Okay, so, but it's like if I can offer these things that I know that can create more empowerment within yourself then how great is that like just by putting on a pair of shoe lock shoes you can go it'll make you think twice next time you buy something like that that's going to in this example go right if i drink that drink i may feel like on a high for a while like i'll get a buzz for a while and i'll get energy for a while but then i'm going to crash and burn and later on i probably am going to have health issues is that actually the case? Let me go and investigate, go and check out, research. What would be my better options? And next time when you get into a supermarket or whatever and you go, right, am I going to choose that or am I going to choose something like a smoothie? And you go, you know what? Hmm, I think I might reach for the smoothie rather than the energy drink. So it's that kind of example. It's the same with health scenarios, you know, like the times that people would just automatically accept what a health health professional you know will tell them and without researching it just because they've got a certificate and i'm not saying that they're not qualified to do that in most cases yes they are but sometimes 
you know my my philosophy and this is my own and you do not have to adopt this is again everything is entirely up to you i would like to have it where the best of all modalities are integrated so we know that that works in the in in the conventional sector we know that that works in you know the you know the top the best of the chinese um, medicines the best of the emotional you know energy um so energy channeling systems or whatever you want to call it imagine if we took all of the best of all of those and put them together and then presented to you how much better would that be rather than saying no 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 my way's the best forget all the others see so now i that those shoes i go mm, no that doesn't that doesn't work for me personally now it might work for some people it might work for you i'm not saying that there's any right or wrong but personally i would like to know okay what are my options what are the choices that we've got what other shoes could i wear in order to help me get to the next level to get to the next um you know better health better emotional health better you know physical health better better whatever you know um smarter with what i do um and then when you get taught by a professional take what works for you ditch what you don't you know it's that simple so the shoe lock shoes really i just i would so love it like if our young ones as well would wear these um, more often as well it's like oh well everybody says that i should have you know I don't know the golden spray tans or something you know and it's like um okay is it natural is it okay to do that yeah it's fine you know if it, if it's all if it's good but if it's if it's a chemical on your biggest your skin's your biggest organ of your body and you know you're gonna spray it with something please make sure that it's responsible products um like my daughter you know uh, bought something uh, from I won't say we, but anyway, she bought something and it was cheap makeup, God bless her, and she put it on and her eyes were just watering and itching and I was like, honey, you're reacting to the cheap makeup, you know? And she was like, oh, so now, who little she looks, she, I said, well, do you want to, you know, look into maybe natural products that, you know, that you won't react to and that's better for you? And fortunately, she's also got a little friend who's already done that and they went into the, the, the pharmacy and um, the health shop and they found um, a, a range that is natural uh, makeup products. Now they're 10 and 11, you know, like I'm just like, easy, you know, put your Sherlock shoes on, question it, does it work, does it not? Don't just go rushing off, oh no, I saw it advertised, it's popular, so everybody's buying that wax it on has a reaction <laughs> so learnt the hard way but a good lesson right okay so now it's like well and then she was saying to me the other day with my sh our shampoo uh, mum is that shampoo okay because like you know um uh, you told me about the one where it actually strips your hair and makes your hair more greasy um what about this one and i said well that one's not that great either and she said well mum why are you buying them and i was like actually that's a point because I'm susceptible to jolly advertising too. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're not all immune, you know, these, these, I, I question big things, not the, and then it's like, oh yeah, actually that is actually a point. So we're going back to our natural products with all our shampoos and everything as well. So it's just that whole thing, question everything in the news, question what politicians, you know, might be saying, what leaders are, are saying, what, um, you know, your town leaders are saying, you know, is it in the town's best interest? Is it in your best interest? When, when doctors are saying this is the way, if your naturopath is saying a certain way, if a herbalist is saying in a certain way, it goes across the board. It's not just, you know, the, the conventional, it's across the board. Get your Sherlock shoes on and go and do some serious research before you, so you can make an educated decision on whether it's the right thing for you or not. So don't just blindly accept it. So very important pair of shoes. Please add them to your lot in your closet. It's really important. I really hope you found that useful. And if so, can you thumbs up, like, you know, share, um, you know, maybe add a few comments in the Facebook group uh, or, you know, tell us what you think, you know, you know, have you had an experience where you thought, oh, do you know what? I noticed this is a good exercise, actually. 
Do you know what? I noticed that I always buy that product and I've never thought why. Um, and actually, is it really good? And I went and had a look and I was like, oh, actually, that's not so great. You know, like I did with the shampoo there. You know, an example like that. I thought, share that. Share that with us in the Facebook group. That's what it's there for. Uh, let's get, let's see, you know, what, what other people are coming up with as well and starting to notice because that's where it all starts. So welcome. Fantastic to have you here today. And I just, yep, your shoes, your path, your way. Namaste.